We're here at Glenridin on the shores of Ullswater and I'm joined by Charlie who is the race director. So Charlie, the Scarfell Sky Race, who's the event for? Yeah, uh, Scarfell is just basically it's, it's an entry level and I say entry with sort of inverted commas around it, level Sky Race because of the fact that we don't have any scrambling or climbing in it but calling it an entry level is sort of slightly downplaying it because it is super, super technical. It takes some of the most technical trails around the side of Gable, over Scarfell, around Bowfell, coming down the Great Slab, uh, does the Climbers Traverse. You know, it's, it's got everything in it that you would imagine in a European Sky Race without having to have any serious hands-on rock, but, you know, it's not really for the faint-hearted. So road runners, trail runners, fell runners, all can come and get involved, but needs to be that they've, you know, they've, they've gone across a lot of technical ground and they understand how to move well across it, otherwise they're going to have a serious proposition. So obviously you've mentioned there's some really technical aspects of, of the event, so how can it suit everyone? It does suit everybody, but as long as they're prepared to go out and train across technical ground. So, you know, it's, it's not so easy, I guess, for a trail runner or a road runner coming from London to just immerse themselves in the mountains of the Lake District and expect to go across this super technical terrain. But, in essence, you know, there's loads of stuff around that people can train on. They can be running across park benches. They can be operating where the skateboarders and the parkour runners operate. And that allows them to get that technical skill base in order to come and approach it. So it is sort of open for everybody, but open for everybody as long as they're addressing the needs of what the race requires, if that makes sense. So it's obviously a pretty special event, but what's your personal favourite part of the route? Oh God, so, <laughs> I mean, there's a few bits, yeah, I mean, it's special qualities are the fact of it's going over the top of Scarfell Pike, so you're doing the highest mountain in England. Probably my favourite sections are going across the traverse around underneath Gable and you come underneath uh, Nape's Needle, and Nape's Needle is sort of the, it's where, the, it's the birthplace of rock climbing for the UK. You know, it's where Walter Haskett Smith stood on the top and, and he did a handstand apparently after he'd done the route and then he climbed back down again, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then coming down Great Slab is another awesome little bit that you drop down this long sweeping slab that we have had in, in dry years, people running out actually onto the slab, so they're sort of coming down this massive slab of rock and then you cut underneath them and do the climbs traverse and that's just, I don't know, it's a, just drop off five, six hundred foot on one side, really nice technical trails, really enjoyable. 